Alrighty, let's begin. G'day, g'day. Today we're going to have a very, very quick chat. It's a very quick one. This one won't be like my last one where it was <laughs> went for three hours. This one will maybe go for 15, 30 minutes, depending on how it goes. We're going to look at mental health. Right, There's going to be a lot of mental health discussion in the coming few weeks. But today I was asking people in the mental health chat, cult disciples on what they wanted to hear a discussion about and one really one, one really stood out to me how to be happy with where you are how to be content with yourself look at yourself right now and compare that to the smile of an innocent child or your favorite anime character Imagine some like five-year-old anime character, perfect, beautiful smile. Very different to where you are right now. They are smiling. They are carefree. But you, you carry the burden of your experiences whilst they run without a care in the world. You have worries to worry about, whether it's schoolwork or trying to find your first job trying to put food on the table or worrying about how do I talk to that cute girl over there? I want you to think about your much, much younger self when you were five years old. Back then, did you wonder what it would be like to grow up? You probably did. You probably were jealous of the apparent freedom the adults seem to have. We'll talk about envy another time. And that leads me to my point. Being content with what you have right now. The grass is greener on the other side. Always. Even when you objectively know it's not, there's a part of your brain that says, yeah, it's beautiful over there. I wish I could be over there. Touching that beautiful green grass. Time to go outside and touch grass, boys. <laughs> we will always have a curious craving for what we do not currently have. Just as your younger self might have had a curious desire for the freedom that comes with age, supposedly. You right now are having a curious desire for things just outside of your grasp. You might fancy that brand new Porsche and imagine how cool, how sick you'd look driving in it and all of the attention you would get, all of the head turns. You might desire the fame and success of someone like Hamza and imagine the validation, the praise and the attention you would receive. You might even wonder what it's like to be me and you conjure in your mind a fantasy of what my life is like. But you would have discovered that as you grow older, along with the newfound freedoms, you would have also obtained new duties and new responsibilities. When you were a baby, you had everything, everything taken care of for you. But as you grow up, the responsibilities pile on. You would have learnt at some point, to go to the toilet by yourself. You would have learnt to cook for yourself. You would have homework to do. And eventually, you would have to make a living for yourself. Similarly, the person driving that brand new Porsche likely had to take out and service a hefty car loan and foot the bill for expensive repairs and maintenance. Similarly, Someone like Hamza's fame and success are partially a result of his past trauma and suffering. It didn't, came, it didn't come from nowhere. And even now, he has his share of problems. He just doesn't share them with you. And as for me, I have problems of my own that I'm working on. For example, right now, you can't see me but I'm actually sweating a lot. I'm sweating balls. I'm still working on being confident 
in pre- being confident mentally and physically when presenting to a large crowd, even though here this is a virtual crowd. I am confident mentally, but over the past 20 something years, I've just constantly been afraid and being scared. My body still reacts viscerally. My body is still literally <laughs> sweating balls. Again, the grass is always greener on the other side. Partially because it's fertilized with bullshit and illusions. A simple mindset change is all the difference between being envious of others and being content with what you currently have. A mindset of gratitude versus a mindset of fear of missing out and envy. I mentioned it before in my Power of Mindset lecture. Even though nothing physically changes in the real world, in the physical world, a mindset shift has drastic, massive, world-changing impacts on your mental health and on how you see the world. Be grateful. Be damn fucking grateful that you're not born rich, as it teaches you the value of money and the value of a hard work ethic. Be damn grateful for your childhood suffering, because it taught you the value of compassion, and it showed you what you do not want. Be damn grateful for your hard homework, as it reinforced discipline and focus upon you, and you learned how to learn. You learned how to learn. Be damn grateful for where you are today, because it leads you to where you will be tomorrow. That doesn't mean stop chasing your goals. Being happy with where you are today does not mean you stop, you lay down your tools and you say, yep, I'm happy now, I'm done. Quite the opposite. With a clear and undistracted mind, you can have a much sharper focus on what you need to do to crush your goals. Ignore your animal brain your lizard brain, with its subjective and self-paralyzing thoughts and opinions, and focus on the objective facts, the hard truths. Your homework after this quick lecture is to journal about where you are not content with yourself. What is one aspect of your life that you are not content with. Then, objectively, call yourself out. Objectively, call yourself out. Call yourself an idiot. Objectively, list out why that is wrong. Then share with us. Share with us what you wrote. Let the rest of this lecture hold you accountable. <clears throat> God damn, I just had a testy pop. <sighs> that was a quick one. That's it from me today. Enjoy your homework. Done. <laughs>